At Evolve, we provide bespoke engineering solutions to many areas of industry, motorsport, automotive, aerospace, medical, industrial equipment, and clean technologies. We've been using Fusion 360 since 2016. We use it for everything from design all the way through to manufacture, simulation, and now even generative design. This component in particular goes in an electric hypercar. And with an electric car, there's a bit of a challenge in terms of achieving performance and range ability with the size of a battery, and the batteries therefore increase the weight of the car. And therefore, weight reduction is even more important than it was traditionally to be able to hit those performance and range targets. And what generative design here is enables to do is to get to a really lightweight and yet still stiff and working solution that's still manufacturable to meet that weight reduction need. What surprised me the most about generative design is two things. Firstly, that I envisaged it would be very complex and time consuming to set up and actually it's very quick to set up and very easy to use, which gives us a massive increase in efficiency to get to a solution rather than multiple design and simulation iterations. And the second is the preconceived idea that generative design creates something very organic, you know, shapes that are more suited to additive manufacturing, when actually for our CNC processes that we have here, the solutions were, were really controllable and really easy to get something good and manufacturable out of the other end. The extension model of Fusion 360 is really handy because what it means we can do is buy extensions and move them around as people need them. So it keeps the base cost of the Fusion 360 license low and we can have more of those for everybody who needs it and then just move the extensions to where the people are working on specific projects. So using generative design for this particular component, um, we were able to come up with a solution that's around 40% lighter than where we started in a really short space of time by how efficient the generative design process is. In the future, we really intend to use generative design again. How we've seen it's added to our process um, without replacing the design process has been fantastic.